back with our mountains unfortunately also back with a new video Krista from the Netherlands and at this point I was sitting 20 seconds in the overall yeah what's up guys welcome to a new video on my channel I'm back at home back in the Netherlands back with our mountains unfortunately but also back with a new video for you guys. This video is about the last World Cup from last weekend in Switzerland, Alec Arena. And I thought it would be pretty cool to make a bit of a video like this where I talk a bit more about the race itself and how it went. Also because some of the bits in the, on race day I forgot to film um, because I was too focused with racing, let's say. So yeah, let's jump straight into the video. We're back at the Enduro Series. Dead prepped. The bike is always sun is shining bike is ready for today so today is race day so pretty cool what's also very cool is that we have a parking place on the team area shout out to federation from the netherlands for hooking me up with a parking spot for the race here that's super nice so um yeah just going out for um roll out in a bit and um yeah, then we're going to go and uh, do some racing. It's going to be a super physical race. First stage in the fourth one is super physical. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Yeah, as always, I cannot film the race stages just yet. So I'll put in the videos from practice day. But I'll give you updates between the, uh, between the stages, of course, and how it goes. Trista, Trista from the Netherlands. High mountains up here. Yes, not like at home. Not like a comb, but you get used to it, eh? Say again? You're getting used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I ride a lot in Belgium and stuff like that. So we have uh, some hills, but uh, of course it's nothing like this. Yeah, no no problems in the high altitude? Uh, I've been here for quite a... Uh, like, I've been in the Alps for quite a bit, racing downhill and enduro. So uh, for me, I think I like it got used to it, so it's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. you go. Yeah, boy, let's go. Boom. <laughs> so, made it to stage one, right at the top. And the finish is all the way behind that crest, close to the gondola, right there. Super long stage, probably like 10, 11 minutes for us. So just finished up stage one, super physical one. Um, I tried to stay and not push too hard at the top. And then <coughs> when the climb came, push as hard as I could. I felt when I came in that I had a lot of energy, but then when I started pedaling, I felt like I had not so much energy. So um, yeah, that was a, a bit unfortunate, let's say. Um, but all now we're still pretty good, 37th on the first stage. And being it not my stage, um, um, that's not too bad. So um, yeah, we continue. The stage coming up is one of my favorite ones, more downhilly, so should be good. So apparently we're not riding this first bit <laughs> because of this. <laughs> I have snow in my neck, nice. 
to go. Both? And three, yep. That is stage two done. I was sitting in 18th place um, on this stage. So 18th place, pretty good. And then overall, after this one, I was sitting 27th. Of course, the first stage is not the greatest, um, but that one was more like damage control for me. But 18 on that stage, I was happy with that. I was expecting it to be a bit better, to be honest. But at the same time, a lot of times for me, when I feel like it's gonna be a good stage for me, I actually don't even write that amazing. It's like the mediocre stage where I, f where I feel a bit meh meh, where I do really good. So yeah, 27 sitting at this point at the moment. Um, and then after this, it was a six and a half minute stage. So a bit of a longer one again, but this one was right on my alley. Um, so let's get back into it and let's go to stage three and see what happens on that one. Finished in P11 on that stage, super good, that stage. And I was just behind Jack Menzies, Canyon Factory rider. Just not into the top 10 to get some stage result points, but still super good. And it ties my best result ever in a stage with Comblon, um, with the last stage. And at this point, I was sitting 22nd in the overall uh, with only one point or is it three or something seconds off of the top 20, which was my goal. Um, so it's all to play for. After this, we had to go and have a big liaison to stage four. So we did this stage, Cow Safari. Then we rolled down with the, the fire road, did some of these traversy things, went back to the pits. So here's the pits. We did some refueling. I didn't break anything or any like anything like that, so that was quite easy for my dad because there was nothing to do really. Then we made our way to stage four, very long liaison, 600 meter climb, um, and we even had to push up. I think it's this trail, super steep, but straight in the sun. But all in all, I still had enough time to chill a bit at the top. So we took this gondola, then the other one, and then I could chill a bit at the top. So this is a stage we did Lord of the Rims into, into the wild. And then the last bit of the downhill track that they used for the IXS Cup. So I've raced here on the IXS Cup track quite a lot of times. Um, so that was quite nice to know at least the last bit. So when I was coming in cooked, uh, I knew kind of where I was going. So let's go into stage four now. Um, very long one, very hard on the arms, a lot of pushing and pumping. So um, it's gonna be a gnarly one, that's for sure.
that was stage four done very long one my arms felt absolutely done at the end they were like jelly it was kind of nice to know at the end that i knew where i was going so i was taking the right lines on the the rock cars and stuff going to the stage result um i was um 30th on that stage but it was i definitely lost a bit of time here especially because i was sitting in 22nd at that point and then losing quite a bit of time after that I was not the greatest um, overall I was still in 23rd at this point <clears throat> so I only lost like one position coming into the last stage the stage coming up is one of my favorite ones I really wanted to give a push for this one and like try to be at least in the top 20 if not in the top 10 to gain some time 18th place was still kind of in reach 19th place still kind of in reach for that last stage um if i wanted to push really hard so that was my goal i was not gonna play it safe on the last stage give everything i got so let's see what happens on the last stage um final push went for it unfortunately paid the price with a very stupid crash quite a big one as well but actually i had not had any problems like no injuries or anything like that afterwards just a bit stiff unfortunately it didn't pay off still kind of happy i didn't throw in the towel stage result wise i was still 34th with a pretty big crash so knowing how much time it took could have been around top 20 i don't know how much time it cost i don't know how much i lost afterwards but i felt like i was on pretty good pace it is what it is um overall i went from 20 i think it was 21st or 22nd um and i lost a couple positions so i dropped back to 26th still looking at the result and how physical the race was and it was not really up to my alley let's say i'm still looking back super happy with how i rode especially being such a physical race all in all very big positive and even to be up with these guys after that first and fourth stage that was super physical to know i have the pace also for the longer stages is very positive for me um so yeah now i'm back home getting some chill time in in the Netherlands. Thanks again guys for all the support and sticking to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao ciao.